right, so when you squat really heavy, the high bar back squat will sit on your like cervical vertebrae and it'll look something like this. You'll see a lot of people do this all the time. This is not ideal for heavy lifting. This is kind of quad dominant. You see my torso is upright here. So I'm gonna teach you guys the low bar back squat. So the low bar position, we're gonna find the center of the bar. So what I do is I just find the, the sides. So I'll go parallel, right? Uh, or sorry, symmetrical. So same hands on each side. I'm not gonna put my thumb under for this because what's gonna happen is people try to load the wrists up like that and they hurt their wrists. So I'm gonna go five fingers over the top. I'm gonna dive my body through and I'm gonna see I'm pressing into the bar and I get this tight position. So I'm gonna wiggle until I'm real tight. The closer your hands are, the stronger you're gonna be, but you're gonna do a lot of damage and wear and tear on your elbows over time. So I'd like to go a little bit wider and I'm gonna mound my wrists. So I kind of keep my wrists kind of rounded and I throw my elbows up. So now when I walk back, I'm in this nice low bar position and I don't really need my fingers, right? I'm just holding on with like my wrists kind of. Then I'm gonna get into my position, the bar is low on my back. Now I can do more of a good morning where I'm kind of folding my chest down a little bit more than I would. And then I come up and I bring my back towards the wall behind me, right? So this is that low bar position. I'm sitting back, 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 back. And then I'm bringing my back towards the wall, hips forward. If you have any wrist pain, just try to go wider. Some people go really low like this. It's very dangerous. You can blow your shoulder out. So find that comfortable width for your shoulder mobility and give it a shot.